Hey guys, Bass Geek here. Welcome back to my dungeon. This is the first video in a series we're going to call If I Only Had One. We're going to take one product, whether that be rods, reels, baits, um, jigs, any kind of tackle. We're going to narrow it down to one style, one brand, one color. We're going to tell you the pros and cons and why we selected that item. Alright guys, the first jig style we're going to talk about is the flipping punching jig. Now you'll notice it's almost a round head with a bullet weight style head. The line tie is in line with that head. That makes it easy for this jig to come through heavy cover and grass. The next style of jig we're going to talk about is the football head jig. That name pretty much tells it all. The head is in the shape of a football to keep it from rolling side to side. The line tie is a little higher up so that whatever trailer you have on when you're dragging it through rock or open water, the trailer stands up much in the way a craw, uh, crayfish, crawfish will defend itself. Jig style number three is a swim jig. Now a swim jig has a very thin head, a line tie slightly up so that it can come through the water because you're swimming it most of the time around or through grass. Style number four is the finesse jig. Normally a round head with the line tie higher, again much in the way of a football head jig so that as you pull or drag it through the water it stands on end. Okay last but not least if I only had one jig this would be the style. It's what I call an archie head jig. An archie head jig has a wide body, wide head, and kind of flat and concave. A line tie sets higher, again, as you drag it to enable the trailer to stand on end. Every jig's got its place, and in today's bass fishing world, we know everything has its specialty and its spot to fish that works better than any other spot. And if you look in my tackle boxes, you'll see I've got swim jigs, I've got flipping jigs, I've got football head jigs, I've got archy jigs, um, and I will generally use those. But if I only had to pick one, if I, if, I, if I go out and I think the bass are on a jig bite, um, generally I'm going to pick this archy jig up. Now this is a, uh, I know the skirt's a little light, this is a kind of a finesse archy I had made for me for a special situation, a special lake uh, a few years back. But the thing about the archy jig is because of its head shape, you know, it's going to come through light grass fairly well. Because of the way the, li the eye, line eye is turned, it's going to come through that grass. You can flip this jig. So this jig, again, because of that line tie, will come up and over a lot of structure. You can fish it through rock. You can fish it through sand. Again, it will stand up. So it's got the, you know, the football head uh, sort of action to it. You know, it's going to roll a little more, again, because of that. But this jig, when I'm out searching, this is the jig I'm going to tie on. Again, the wide, the wide head allows me, uh, probably better than any jig, to be able to skip this under docks better than any jig with a good large trailer on it. So again, if I only had one, it would be the Arky head jig. That's the style that I would have. So let's narrow it down even more. What color and is there a certain brand? Well, there is a certain brand. Um, I, I started fishing years ago uh, with Strike King and they have what's called the Rattlin Pro model. Uh, the Rattlin Pro model, A, I love because of the rattles and I think that just helps a lot when you're trying to imitate a crawfish. Um, you can notice the difference in heads however. Uh, they're very close, not as much concave. This one is a little more fat than the standard regular Arky jig. Um, stills wide, slims down, the line tie is in the same place, uh, but the Strike King jig, and I'm not sponsored, I have no sponsors, uh, so I'm just being honest with you. This is uh, the jig I tend to go to 
um, straight off the shelf. And this just happens to be my favorite color. And the reason why it's my favorite color is because it works so well in a multitude of water clarities. This is the 3 8 ounce black, brown, amber color. And so, you know, I can throw a black and blue trailer on this jig. I can throw a green pumpkin. I can throw a watermelon. This jig allows me to tie one jig on and go find fish. Um, a lot of people, when you think, when you're thinking about search uh, baits, you only think about crankbaits, swim baits, moving baits. A jig can, I can fish a jig just as fast. So just remember guys, if I only had one jig, it would definitely be an Arky style jig. You can swim it, you can flip it, you can punch with it, you can uh, skip docks with it. Um, is it going to do those better than the jigs that are designed specifically for those instances? No. But it gives me a jig I can tie on and I can hit every piece of structure down a given bank without having to pick up multiple rods and it saves me time when I'm searching for bass. All right, guys, so this has been Bass Geek. Um, don't forget to uh, like, comment, subscribe, share. Uh, did I say subscribe? Please subscribe. Share with your friends. Um, what else? Uh, put your right leg in, do the hokey pokey, and turn it all about. Have a good one.